everybody welcome to my channel this is Audrey and if you're new to my channel I am so glad to have you today and if you're not new to my channel thank you for joining in I am so excited about this haul because this is like a treat for myself I kind of splurge guys and I'm really glad that I did I learned of this designer and this brand Henry Bendel through YouTube I typically I'm not a luxury brand person and that is because I have a certain price point that I shop in but I do have a splurge account and so if I happen to run across something that I like I will go ahead and treat myself so this is one of those times but anyway I digress Henry Bendel is new to me and so upon hearing that name and seeing the brands I went online and read about this designer and he his life is so fascinating. He is an American designer. He was born in Louisiana, but he moved to New York and he opened up a department store that we now know as Henry Bendel. And he is a pioneer in the fashion industry. And I'll share more about his history at the end of the video. But he also seemed to be a very generous person from what I read about him. I read that before he died in 1936, he allowed his employees to buy stock in the company and over 40% of the stock was owned by the employees, which I thought was so awesome. But anyway, so this brand is considered a luxury brand, but the prices to me are a good price point. They're comparable to, I would say, Dooney and Burke, uh, Coach and uh, Michael Kors and maybe a little bit higher up than that but anyway I just learned about it and from all of the reviews and things that I watch the quality seems to be really there and they really know how to package and present their product so I'm gonna share with you what I got today you know I'm a purse lover and so when I found out that they were closing from this youtuber that I mentioned I was like, wow, this store this store has been around for over 120 years, I believe, over 123 years. And so to know that this legacy is now getting ready to close its doors, not because they're going bankrupt, but the L Company, which I think is like the company that owns Bed Bath & Beyond, as well as Victoria's Secret, just decided they wanted to put more of their effort into, you know, building up their other brands. So it's unfortunate that their doors are closing, especially that flagship store in New York, because they will be closing their doors in January. They do have other locations, over 20 something locations around the United States. And uh, there is one in Atlanta, which I have not visited. All of the things that I got, I have ordered online. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and let me just show you what I got. I'll start with this one first. So as you can see, the packaging is gorgeous. I went ahead and just uh, paid the extra $5 for gift wrapping because I just wanted to have that experience because I'll probably never have, have that experience again. So. They're known for their polka dot ribbon, which I think is adorable, and their brown and white stripes. And he was one of the first to patent his um, design. So this was, um, or copyrighted, I should say, copyrighted by him. So no other company can use them. And he also collaborated with artists to do their uh, well-known Henry Bindle girls. And so Andy Warhol was one of those artists that they collabed with back in the day. And if you didn't know, Andy Warhol did get his start in advertising as an illustrator. So here is, let's see if I can get it out of here. It's pretty stuffed in here. But I love all of the unboxings that I have watched because of you know the packaging and all of that. And like I said, the quality of it and just the history of the brand. So here is the drawstring bag that they come in. And this really is, as I've heard, a great quality drawstring bag. And I've heard a lot of people say they even use these bags when traveling. So this is nice to know. This is what it looks like. Now the bag doesn't seem like it was stuffed, so it's gonna be a little bit scrunched up, which is okay with me. I'm fine with that. We can always unscrunch. But I did get the messenger bag, and I did get it embossed with my initials. So as you can see, 
that is the Henry Bindle Gold Leafing and my initials. And so I love this d detail design. You flip it over and it has the stripes on the back, which he's known for. And this is what the design looks like. I love that two-tone metal that they have there. So this is a messenger bag. And the review online, guys, was tremendous as far as getting like awesome feedback. It was five stars, awesome ratings, and the leather is nice. I love this. This is a type of texturized leather. It's not Safiano leather, but it is a very nice leather. And on the inside, it does have a zip pocket, and it has Henry Bendale and a little cute bow on the inside, and it has two slip pockets as well. It comes with a strap. And this strap is kind of like one of those seat belt straps, but it's very, very thick and it's really good quality. So here's a close up of it. And it still, like I say, has everything wrapped up because I'm doing this in front of you guys. So I am going to go ahead and undo this and then I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I have put the handle on. So the handles do have a swivel so you don't have to worry about it getting tangled up and it is adjustable so you wear it as a crossbody and a shoulder and of course later i will show you what that looks like on across the shoulder and i did order some straps that i can exchange on this bag so i'm just going to go ahead and share those with you and they have it taped up but you know another thing that i was reading about the Henry Bendel is that he was good friends with Coco Chanel and encouraged her to come to well sell some of her designs in the US and so we were introduced to Coco Chanel through Henry Bendel. So here is the packaging. You do have the sticker there. And so that was another kind of interesting uh, fact. And also, like I said, here in so many things, he would do uh, like I say, collabs with artists and that Legacy continued well after his passing because they would do open calls for artists to come and show their designs at the store so that they would have the chance of possibly having their designs featured at the store, which I think is really, really awesome. By the way, are there any Henry Bindle, uh, people who are new to Henry Bindle like I am? Um, like I said, this is new to me. So let me just put this to the side. But this is the gorgeous strap, and it does have the stripes on the back, but isn't that just lovely? Those beautiful dot designs, oh my goodness. They have the same kind of design on the little bulleting in there as on um, the hardware, on the purse, on the bag. So I just love that, and you know red and black are my favorite colors. And um, I'll tell you the prices of everything in the description box below. What I love is that the stripes on this bag match the little stripes on that zipper, which is to die for, right? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then you can adjust it. It does have the adjustable notches there. But oh, that is just so lovely. Look at that. Fabulous. So this is the messenger bag. I love it. Now, on this particular order that I got, I did order the Bowery messenger bag. And then this is the embellished dot dots bag strap is what this calls. So this is the Bowery messenger bag. And that's I what it. I got. Let's go ahead and go to the next Thing. I'm so excited guys because this is my first time seeing them just with you. This one is called the influencer short strap because I wanted to be able to change out the straps um, and just have some different options. You know, a girl who's into fashion likes options, right? So I'm going to do that. Once again, beautiful packaging. I won't bore you with every time I'm doing that. So it does have a little pouch. Oh, how cute. So this is a shorter strap. This one has love on it. So here is that strap. It's beautiful. And I just love love, right? 
Who doesn't love love? We're supposed to love one another. We're so that's what life is all about, love. So anytime I see a message with love on it, I definitely want to get it. So here is the shorter strap. So if you want to do it as a shoulder bag, you can. And like I say, I will show you what they look like on. And it does have a back slip pocket, which is very deep. Okay, I did want to share with you the inside of this Bowery messenger bag with my things in it. So I do have my wallet and my two little pouches in there. So as you can see, it is roomy. I have the pouch, I have my wallet, and then I have another pouch, and then a little coin purse. And as you can see, there's nothing on top of anything else. This is where my phone would be, but I'm filming with it. So I just put the little phone case in there. And then you have the zip pouch and you can get a better look at that detail. So this is what it looks like when it is completely stuffed. Okay, this is what it looks like when it is zipped, as you can see. And like I said, this is a really nice zipper pull. It's very smooth, but it's hard to kind of do with one hand, but very, very smooth. So that is what it looks like. And now that I have it stuffed and filled out, you can see how pretty it is when it's not sunken all in. Um, just a really nice bag. And if you want to put your phone on the outside, I like that that option is available for you. So just want to give you one more look at this bag. But I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I got it. It was highly recommended. It's one of their most uh, popular designs and now we can move on to the next bag okay so now this is the next bag and i guess you can say i'm an i'm a henry bindle girl now and i considered doing my own henry bindle girl you know since i used to do fashion sketching and designs and um but i just didn't have time so i didn't get around to it oh my goodness look how gorgeous this bag is i love the color it's more of an orangey red color uh than just a, a true red red but i love it it's almost like um i don't know a terracotta red it, this is actually so beautiful and this is a pebbled leather very soft once again you can see the henry vendell stamping the gold leaf stamping up here very subtle very classy and I am just like loving this oh by the way let's see what this one is this one's called the Sabrina shoulder bag the Sabrina shoulder bag this is so stunning oh and look at that strapping oh my goodness let me just take this off so you can see this okay so here is the strap. As you can see, it's got that snake print on it. Just beautiful. It's almost like this orangey brown gray. Very, very, very nice. And here is the hardware. It's kind of got more of that brassy look to the hardware. Love it. Oh my, and I like that it's adjustable. And on the back side, let's see, it's just a flap. I was gonna see if that was a zipper. But it is, here's the zipper on the front. Oh, that's neat. See, I told you this is new to me. Oh, and it has a sateen lining and it does go down pretty deep, guys, as you can see. I love that. So you can slip your phone on that outer pocket. Yes. Then it has the zip on the outside. You have the two slip pockets over here and it's just got this very nice satiny finish. And even the pull has that little snake print design. And let's see here if I can show you while I put the zipper. So it does have a nice smooth zip. Very nice, but this leather guys is, oh my gosh, I love it. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It's got like a kind of bucket bag look, but no feet on the bottom. And I like that the strap is adjustable. So you could possibly 
wear this as a crossbody because it does have a lower notch and then you have a higher notch. So if you prefer a shoulder, this will make a great shoulder bag. But if you like crossbodies like I do, it will work for that as well. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to like put this on for you guys so you can see. So yes, the Sabrina is definitely a go-go. The pebbled leather is smooth, it's soft, it's beautiful, and it's just a classic design. It's very sleek, it'll add a pop of color. I think this is a color you can definitely wear year round, but it's definitely a perfect fall color. But I absolutely adore this bag. So that is the Sabrina. And then last but not least on this go round, like I said, I do have more bag that I wish would come right now. I did buy some little charms. So here is one. A for Audrey and then on the back side it does have the stripes along with that so there it is okay I like it I like you like you all right next I got this now this one I ordered off of Poshmark and it's the cute little elephant I just think it's so cute and it comes with a little Henry Bendel tag and this was pre-loved but I just thought that was adorable. And I can clip that onto any of the bags that I own. I didn't specifically get it for either of the bags that I purchased, but I just think that is too, too cute. You may be wondering if there's any way you can determine whether or not a bag is authentic. This Henry Bindle bag does have a coat on the inside. It is stamped into the leather tag with the date and a code number. Well, it's a little bit later in the day. It's the same day. My other bag still has not arrived, though it is scheduled to arrive today. Um, if it does get here before 8 o'clock, I will go ahead and put that in this video to include it in this. But I did want to share with you, I did get something from Coach, so I'm going to sneak a little Coach inside of this Henry Bindle haul. So I've been wanting a strap for my uh, Willis bag. For those of you who don't know, I love to thrift and I thrifted this Coach Willis ba bag, which is a vintage bag. And it was in such excellent condition, but it did not come with the crossbody strap. So I improvised and I got me some banjo straps, but I've been wanting an actual Coach strap. So I went ahead when they had sale. I did most of my shopping on Black Friday and got a really great deal. Like I said, I'll leave the prices in the description box below. I got this beautiful, beautiful chain strap. It's a leather and chain strap. It is adjustable and I like it because it comes with this little T-Rex skeleton and it's called Rexy and that is like part of the coach line and you can remove it. It is a swivel strap so when you put it on you don't have to worry about it twisting up on you and i think a lot of the straps are being made like that now but i think it goes perfectly with my willis bag and so now i have a permanent strap for this bag that was the ups man making the delivery it finally got here my last bag all right so here is the box. Oh my gosh. This bag is different than the other bags that I got. Oh, I love that because it has that illustration of the, oh, the Henry Bindle girl. That is so beautiful. I love it. How nice. My last bag, this is the Rivington Mini Convertible Satchel, and I am so excited to reveal this to you. This has been reviewed quite a bit on YouTube. It's one of their more popular bags, and I can see why, because it's classic in design. So here is the satchel. 
It is in a beautiful black pebbled leather and I love it because it's crossbody. I went ahead and uh, when I unpacked it, put the handles on, but they do have detachable, um, the shoulder straps or the crossbody straps are detachable. So this is what it looks like. Really, really cute, nice rolled handles. And it's called the convertible because you can detach this. That's why the zippers are there. So this would be like an evening clutch. It turns here. And then you have your little chain in there so you could wear it as a crossbody as well. And I just love that about it. This is in the hard wear is in silver on this one, not the gold, but it's very well branded. It has the silver foil stamping of Henry Bendel there. It has the D-rings and then it zips here. And then you have the inner zipper pocket with Henry Bindle and the bow, and then some slip pockets on the side. Very, very roomy and spacious. So I love this bag. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And like I say, it is a crossbody. And I like it because it's the perfect size for me. These are the size bags that I really, really like. Um, I'm like a mid-size to small bag girl. Not too, too small, but like this size. So you do have the adjustable strap there. And I just love this. And it has the feet on the bottom. It's just really classy in design. And I have, this is a bag that's definitely going to last and be with you for a very long time. So um, I got also another charm, but the charm is not silver. I did not think about that when I bought this. This is gold, so I'll have to attach it to another bag. But once again, they give you the cute little pouch and I've already taken it out of the plastic, but this is just a little gold A for Audrey, and then it has the little Henry Bindle on it, if you can see that. But I'll attach that to one of my other bags. It's just a cute little bag charm. So those are the things that I got from this purchase, and I got these Sunday. So I forgot to show you how you can double up the strap and wear it as a shorter shoulder bag. a free gift with purchase and this is what you get you get the this is a canvas backpack and I like this backpack because it has the 
famous Henry Bindle stripes there. It snaps and then zips open. You can hold it by the handle. It also has a strap here where you can wear it crossbody or you can hook it here and here. It's still very well branded with the Henry Bindle at the bottom and it's very lightweight and this is a gift that I will be gifting to one of my viewers so if you would like to be in the giveaway for one of the three splurge cards then this is what you should do number one be subscribed to my channel number two comment below whether or not you're a Henry Bindle girl or if this is your first time hearing of him Henry Bindle let me know in the comments let me know what you thought of this video do comment on any of those things be subscribed to my channel and then there's an email in the description box email me and say i'm interested in a splurge card and the first three will get one of those 50 dollars splurge cards which can be used between december 6 and the 21st if you spend 150 dollars or more so that's perfect if you're already a henry bindle girl and you just want to have that little extra savings and then for those who want to get this bag be a subscriber comment below and you will be entered in and i will randomly pick from those who enter and i will announce the winners for both the splurge cards and the backpack on december 4th i will probably do a live uh, announcement of the winners or either pre-record a video and upload it on december 4th so that is it oh and you must be 18 years old or older and this is open to all of my subscribers internationally and domestic uh, subscribers so that is it i hope you enjoyed this haul i enjoyed doing it for you i hope you learned something new if you had not known about henry bindle because i love learning new things especially things with rich history like this company so if you're into bags this is an opportunity because they will be closing in january um so the word is out it's closing and that's why i wanted to get a little bit of that history henry bindle was a fearless innovator a leading arbiter of women's fashion and passionate explorer of the new and the next he was born in lafayette louisiana in 1868 Bindle moved to New York to work as a milliner, opening his own shop in Greenwich Village in 1895. A man known for infallible taste, he quickly became a leading tastemaker and couture to the city's elite, and his boutique became a beacon of luxury. Bindle made his mark both literally and figuratively by becoming the first retailer to brand himself. Having registered his own trademark in 1895, he created the now legendary brown and white striped shopping bag and hat box. A true pioneer, Bindle was the first luxury retailer with an Upper Fifth Avenue address, the first to hold a semi-annual sale, the first to offer in-store makeovers, and the first to stage a fashion show. He was also responsible for bringing Coco Chanel to the United States. Bindle thrived not only as a retailer, but also as a designer. His store carried the latest in Paris couture, along with Bindle's original apparel designs, fragrances, custom furs, hats, and bridal, plus an assortment of cosmetics, skincare, lingerie, and handbags. By the 1960s, this time marked a transition for the brand led by Geraldine Stutz, a former fashion magazine editor who joined the brand as president. One of her most notable accomplishments was the creation of the famed Street of Shops. It was a first in retail and a concept still used today. Bindle is also credited with the discovery of artist Andy Warhol, who was brought on as an in-house illustrator. In 1985, Lex Wexner, retail legend and chairman of L Brands, acquired Henry Bendel, and in 1991, he opened a magnificent new flagship. During the renovation, the beautiful and one-of-a-kind 
Lalique windows that graced the side of the store were uncovered. Because of this unique discovery and with the help of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, Henry Bendel received landmark status from the Landmark Preservation Commission. The collaboration with Andy Warhol continued Bindle's long history of fashion-centric illustration, which endures today through the partnership with illustrator Isaac Zunu, who began to work with the company in 1994. Isaac's Bindle Girl illustrations have graced the Henry Bindle advertising and promotional materials for the past 18 years and have become synonymous with the brand. The brown and white stripe celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2007, which coincided with the launch of the Henry Bendel Accessory Collection. In 2008, Henry Bendel began to open new stores outside of New York City. The expansion continues. Today, the brand has more than 28 stores and premier shopping destinations around the country. The Henry Bendel brand, still vibrant more than a century after its inception, continues to champion the spirit of the store's visionary founder. It strives to always delight and serve fashionable women, to seek out the best of the new and the next, and to always experiment and innovate. Henry Bendel is a girl's playground, consistently interpreting and reinventing itself as a destination rooted in the never-ending energy, abundance, and creativity of the city of New York. This is what the site had to say to the Henry Bendel shoppers. Dear Henry Bendel girls, we cannot thank you enough for the incredible outpouring of love and support you have shown for Henry Bendel in light of our recent announcement. Your loyalty to the brown and white stripes means the world, and we commit to making the upcoming fall and holiday seasons our best ever. Our stores and websites will be shutting down sometime in January. Before then, come back often for more Bendel gems, including iconic pieces and fabulous gifts, which will be arriving in stores and online. We plan to run our regular promotions throughout the season without a major closure sale. Thank you so much for tuning in. And like I said, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.